Hello guys, welcome to this session of Power BI series. Today I want to show you guys how you can load your data into your model as well as the difference between the fact table and the dimension table. So what is the fact table? The fact table consists of numeric entities such as the order date, the order ID and uh, customer details and all that. All these particular uh, keys you are seeing here has a description and uh, the description are being stored in the dimension table. So, that, so basically the dimension table only consists of description that are being attached to the fact table. So there cannot be a fact table without a dimension table. So the dimension table only store the description of this particular uh, numeric entities that has, are being stored here in the fact table. Let me show you guys something real quick. Here we have the customer key and this customer key here, the details of this particular customer key here are actually found in the dimension table. And for us open this customer details here, we are going to find all the particular details that have been attached in the particular fact table here. So in the layman understanding, the fact table consists of numeric entity, while the um, dimension table consists of descriptive entity. I believe that is understood. So once you have finished your uh, trans, uh, transmission in your Power Query editor, now you can go ahead and close and apply it. And this data here will be loaded into your model. Just come to this ribbon here, close and apply, and click on this, and this should be loaded into your into your model. So here you see. This is a this is a, a report view. Are you seeing it? it is the report view? This particular uh, section here is for report view. This is where we can do our visual visualization and all that. We shall we shall work on that later on. And here we can also see the tables that uh, we are able to access and view in the query editor. And here this is our model. This is where we'll be working in our next section. I'll show you guys how to create a model and create a condition between these particular tables here. That will be all for this section. Uh, if you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And if you have not subscribed, uh, please hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification button uh, so that once a video is dropped, you'll be the first to notify. As I see you in the next section, thank you for watching. Stay blessed.